This footage comes from the Lincoln County Courthouse in Charlotte, North Carolina. Deputies are watching the security monitors after hours when they spot a woman standing alone in an empty room. They rush into the nearby location to see what she is up to and if she needs help. Not only is the woman still there, but she is totally transparent and they are able to walk straight through her. When the local news channel comes to investigate, they see the same ghost again, this time in the cashier's office. Plane. While shooting today, we saw it again in color in the middle of the screen just over Barbara Jones' shoulder. Both times, the ghostly woman appears to be jotting something down in a notepad. Some people are suggesting that she could just be a reflection, but the news team could find nothing capable of replicating the highly detailed shape of a woman. If this really is a spirit, then who knows why she is here or what supernatural secrets her notepad holds. Usually when you're in solitary confinement, you're, well, solitary. This TikTok video shows that's not always the case. In the video, an inmate stands behind bars. He's looking out through the bars and is supposed to be alone. But when he steps out of the way, a dark figure appears to be crawling on the floor behind him. It moves out of the way, blocking itself from view behind the inmate. The figure looks human-shaped but not really human. Many in the comments believe it could be the inmate's demon that landed him in prison. Others think it's the negative energy attached to him. I guess the odds of an actual person sneaking into jail are unlikely. What do you think is going on here? Urban exploration videos in abandoned places are perfect settings for ghost investigators to explore, but sometimes they find more paranormal activity than they are ready for, and that's when their paranormal investigation becomes mysterious, unexplained, and most of all, really creepy. This YouTuber is exploring an abandoned building when they hear some potentially paranormal poltergeist activity coming from upstairs. These are all the staff bathrooms. Here's the bathroom. Alright, come up here. I'm throwing this in the toilet. As they slowly climb the steps, the first thing they notice is how much darker it is up here. The last thing they notice is the poltergeist that comes straight at them and then disappears. <laughs> Absolutely nothing is there at 1 minute and 24 seconds, and then you see its head, and then something out of my nightmares is dragging itself across the floor. A YouTuber named The Legends TV is exploring a tunnel at 3 a.m. when he comes across a stenciled message on the wall. It's a rant about someone who doesn't want to take their medicine or live in a hospital anymore, perhaps made by someone who escaped an institution and now lives down here. To further support this theory, they find a lone baby doll laying in the dirty water, and tucked under the doll's arm is a steel blade. For all I know, this could be a trap set by someone who is not right in the head. They go only a little deeper and find this red clump of what appears to be matted hair stuck to the wall, almost like someone's skull. In wandering around this abandoned building, strange apparitions appear everywhere. Published by Clip Hantu, this scary video is like the Where's Waldo of creepy figures. See if you can spot them all. Notice this thing on the ledge wasn't there a moment before. It looks like a head of hair or a wig. In the next room, you see a dark figure in the corner. As the camera swings back, it's disappeared. And with the flashlight turned on, you can see the room is completely empty. In a kitchen area, there's a pot on the counter at first. 
Now, there seems to be a split in the clip, but the next time we see the same counter, the creepy object has replaced it. That thing looks like a shrunken head. Have these items been placed? Or is this the world's worst treasure hunt? The first and third items do look to me like they were placed. There is a cut in the video in each of these instances, but that shadow figure, that's harder to explain, makes me think this place is truly haunted after all. Did this statue move? Writes a person in the comments section of this marble statue video. Some other people agree. It does, but I can't say that I necessarily see it. At 45 seconds, this Snow White statue maybe looks like it sways slightly. If you look hard enough, but that has to be camera movement. Maybe this is what they're talking about. What do you see? While exploring an old abandoned college, YouTuber exploring with Melor jumps out of his skin from this paranormal encounter. Let's watch. No date on it. What's that one say? Ships Hope. So it was that 1983. <laughs> it seems to me like the ghost may not appreciate Melor looking through this album in particular. So it was that 1983. Would you stick around to pry around some more? I certainly wouldn't. The Old South Pittsburgh Hospital in Tennessee is one of the most haunted hospitals on Earth. So much so that it's been officially designated as a paranormal research center on Google. Almost everyone that goes there has a paranormal experience. Take a YouTube channel called Lost Souls Paranormal for example. One of the few research teams brave enough to go exploring the haunted hospital's basement. An investigator named Bailey splits from the group and this is what he records underground. Running footsteps are coming from all directions and are possibly even in the same room that he is. Suddenly, the idea of ghost hunting isn't as fun as it was five minutes ago and so he doesn't go any further. This is enough paranormal evidence to convince me but let me know if you think it was his friends making the noise. Years prior, another paranormal investigator named L.W. Drums was close to the same spot of the hospital and experienced strange ghost activity as well. Come on now, you're being really boring with us. The voice of somebody who isn't there mocks the investigator with an exaggerated sigh and a shadow appears at around this time too. Come on now, you're being really boring with us. Something just touched my head. Ooh. <laughs> Something jabs him from behind. When he turns around, the mysterious camera goes out of focus like something is right up on the lens. And I don't know if this is a third member of the team, but at 29 seconds, a mysterious figure is definitely just sitting on the other side of the room staring at them. Here's a vintage ghost video taken back when most people did not know how to edit anything at all. A ghost hunter travels to an abandoned house in Virginia on a road in the woods with no street lights and no neighbors. A CCTV system is set up, which looks old fashioned by today's standards but was state of the art back in 2002. And at 8.13 at night, this pale ghost in the window is caught on camera. The ghost in the window is not the investigator. He's standing behind the camera adjusting it at the time. According to him, this window is seven feet off the ground with no way for anyone to get up there in the first place. I was thinking it was a passing car, but he says the street was quiet as always, so maybe it was an apparition after all. YouTuber own vlogs stayed in this haunted hotel for 24 hours and they didn't get a wink of sleep. It all began with the closest doors. <laughs> Oh, 
They slam closed, but then open again. They open wide enough to reveal that there's no one inside. Later, they believe something is in the bathroom. Watch for the shadow in the corner. Well, the YouTuber thinks that this is a shadow person. I think it could belong to him. Watch it again. Could it just be the way this light falls in the bathroom? Share your opinion in the comments. A person cautiously follows a winding road at night using only the light on their phone to guide them. They sense danger on the right and look over. Nothing is there, but their feeling of being watched does not go away. So they look over again, and that's when they make contact. A short creature with a portly body, atop long legs, does its best to escape the flashlight. At 1 minute and 36 seconds, we see that the overall grey colouring of the creature, when under the light, does match the rest of the background remarkably well. There's no obvious blurring around the edges of the creature either, which indicates that this may in fact be authentic, unedited footage. Most ghosts don't ask for permission. They just let themselves in. Published in January of 2022, Amitav Paranormal Tech YT writes that during her last live stream, her REM pod activated, so she decided to leave some equipment on during the night. She also left her security cameras on. Here's what they captured. The door of the room swings open, apparently letting no one in. A light to the side on a table then turns on and blinking can be seen throughout the room. What just let itself in? Is it something to be feared? Either way, it definitely wants itself to be known. Ever caught something in a video that freaks you out beyond measure? Joey Shade did in 2018. Shade writes, I put my phone down on record to see what had been taking things out of my garage. I noticed a second video I did not record that showed something move the phone closer to the door, but saw what looks like a hand of some sort. Shade begs viewers to tell him what this freaky fingered creature is. It's hard to tell, but whatever that thing is, I think it's time to move. Whatever the case may be, that hand certainly looks menacing to say the least. A Russian YouTuber plays Russian roulette with poltergeists in this paranormal footage. Published to YouTube by Dark Ghost in March of 2021, this poltergeist activity was captured by cameras installed in the haunted home, as well as cameras operated by the ghost hunter who was brave enough to enter. The first instance of paranormal activity comes when a camera that he installed in one room captures a cupboard being moved on its own. It scrapes across the floor and comes to a halt in the middle of the room. And after hearing the noise, the ghost hunter enters to see for himself. The room appears empty, but he soon realizes it's not. An entire wardrobe nearly falls directly on him. <laughs> There is no space behind the wardrobe for someone to have stood and pushed it over. So what caused this heavy furniture to fall? In a state of shock, having barely escaped with his life, the ghost hunter sets up his spirit box to talk with the spirit. It asks him clear as day who he is and why he's here. The spirit tells him that it is dangerous. When he asks what is, she says his occupation. The spirit tells him that the souls of the passed away have heard him. She also notes that they're not all good ones. After a while, she refuses to answer any more questions. When the ghost hunter returns to the room where the cupboard moved and the wardrobe nearly took his life, everything has returned to its place. As he settles in for the night, somehow catching some shut-eye while stretched out on wooden chairs, a spot of light bursts above him, and he springs to his feet. He 
He said that at that point he felt a bitter cold. Once you've nearly had your life taken and feel the temperature drop, it's probably time to pack it in and call it a night. Wait. That's the moon on the right. So what the f that? A TikToker named Zandorf looks up to see a large object dwarfing the moon. Oh yeah, it is. It does do it on mine. You just have to line it up right. It's not a street lamp because there's nothing underneath of it. Stranger still, the moon isn't even visible on his friend's phone when he tries to take a picture. So is Zandorf really telling the truth? You don't see anything. Like we need to take a picture of like the difference. That's so f***ing weird. What the f*** it is? <laughs> Look! I think that the larger object could actually be the real moon, which makes the smaller circle a lens flare. This is the only explanation that makes sense to me, unless he really was looking at something much larger and many times brighter than the moon itself. These paranormal investigators use a flashlight to communicate with their ghostly counterparts. Published by Mackie and Amanda in April of 2022, the pair explore the haunted Cosmopolitan Hotel in San Diego. The girls talk to the spirits in the hotel, requesting that they interact with this dangling string, and the spirits respond. Just touch that string one time. <sighs> Did it's you see that? And if you're watching it, because I'm watching you hold the things completely still, I watched like how far it was going up against the line, yeah. you know? It definitely moved further. It, it looked like someone touched a string about a foot up. I don't understand, there's no way. either. Later, while sitting in bed, they hear repeated noises. They check to see if someone is walking outside on the balcony, but no one's there. Then the water starts to drip in the bathroom, and it continues to sound like someone is in their room. I think room 11 was the one that they said. Sounds like someone's in here. They ask the spirits to turn the flashlight off and then back on. After asking the spirits to repeat this act, the flashlight turns off and the REM pod in the bathroom goes off as well. Can you turn the flashlight off? All the way completely off. The spirits continue communicating with the girls through the flashlight. They find out that they're speaking to a ghost named Isadora. She confirms it's her through the REM pod. Okay, okay wait, Isadora, if that's you, okay, I was gonna say, can you go over to that REM pod we have in the bathroom? That, that red light. That red light that was just beeping. Can you make it start going off again? Can you make it start beeping? We'll give you like 15 seconds. <gasps> So she said yes. <laughs> the correspondence continues for a long while, with Isadora being very communicative. Mackie and Amanda return to talk to her later. I feel like no one's here. No one's here right now. I just gave it a minute. Isadora? Wait, what is that? What's shaking? They check out early because they're understandably creeped out. It sounds like there's many unseen residents of this hotel and they're not leaving anytime soon. What's the creepiest thing that you've found on an urban exploration? I'm betting it's not creepier than what explore abandoned places with tattoo Tony Alton found in St. Louis. The YouTuber published this in February of 2017, writing, We found part of a spinal column in the basement of this creepy abandoned house. The YouTuber goes on to say that the entire street is abandoned. No big surprise if it's scary and dangerous. Tattoo Tony says the houses here were built sometime between 1910 and 1916. 
As he enters the first building, you can see that it's completely tattered and dilapidated. The wallpaper is flaking from the walls. The ground is absolutely covered in debris and filth. There's still furniture left over in some of the upstairs rooms. It looks as though whoever lived in these homes just up and left one day, leaving everything behind. As he walks through the building, you can hear wind whipping through the place. So it's understandable why the ceilings and all the walls are flaking. But it's when Tony heads into the basement that things get really chilling. Here, he comes across part of a spinal column. Some in the comments debate whether it was from an animal or a human. Whatever the species, Tony wrote, it was a little spooky. Urban exploration can have its risks. The question is now, what is the story behind the spinal column? The redwood fisherman catches something that looks like it would make you catch something if you were to touch it. He describes this strange and mysterious sea creature as nothing more than a pink worm thing. Nobody knows what to do when the bloated monster squirms off the rocks all by itself and begins crawling across the floor in hypnotic caterpillar-like motions. Look at its mouth here at 3 minutes and 43 seconds. What does it even eat? Whatever this is, I would say that it's about the size of a grown man's foot, judging from this angle taken at 3 minutes and 5 seconds, which isn't exactly humongous, but when something looks like this, I don't care how big or small it is, that's absolutely terrifying. So let's recap, a creepy pink larva that can live on sea and land and apparently just crawls away on its own. Yeah, I'm not sleeping. Let me know what this creature is so I can stop thinking about it. Please don't try this yourself, but apparently there's a part of the eye that can be touched without producing a stinging sensation. This person pulls down their eyelid and gives a sharp poke to the outside corner of their eye like it's no big deal. He presses down several times in a row without even watering up, which is certainly more than I can say for myself while watching this video. I don't even want to know how he figured out this bizarre trick or how many times he had to practice before getting it right. Two friends stand in a creepy gray shed in the middle of the night to see who's the bravest. At approximately 3 a.m., they hear a quick sawing motion on the other side of the wall they're standing by, followed by some white orbs. It's in the morning and it's um, pretty fucking creepy. What the f was, was that you? No. Was that you? No. When they go outside to investigate, the door slams behind them. Except there's just one problem. There's no door and there never was. What the f man? But now they are freaking out, but neither wants to be the first to leave, so they go back inside. Then when they are standing in the center of the room, talking about a little girl who supposedly haunts this place, they hear the noise again, this time from the far corner. Girl, yeah, whatever. Um, oh, what the f Nah, what the f At this point, bravery is the last things on their minds as they both escape. This police cam footage was taken during a massive wildfire in Sonoma County, California in 2017. Officers are doing what they can to evacuate the public and restore order, but as this brief dash cam video shows, they were up against total chaos at the time. Listen closely and you'll even hear the dispatcher say that they can't tell which direction the fire is spreading and seems to be genuinely overwhelmed. I have to salute this officer and all of the other brave public officials who willingly charged into a massive blaze to try and help everyone. Are these paranormal explorers being trolled? Or is there something haunting this former asylum? Published by Exploring with Maximilian in April of 2021, while the team is exploring, they hear something press the out-of-tune keys of a distant piano. No, I can't do the piano. It's not the piano? No. Stop. From. It freaks them out and they're not sure what to do. They decide to go check it out and find the room empty. But while in the room, they hear another strange noise off screen. They conclude that there has to be someone in here, but they can't seem to find them. What the Now, what was that? No, there must be someone in there, surely. 
this is this is impossible. They wouldn't do that. Until is somebody hiding in that curtain? Although they don't check the curtain, they still sense someone is here and they call out to them. After hearing yet another noise, they decide to leave. They never did see what or who was prowling around the abandoned asylum, but whatever it was chased them out of there with its trolling. I just wish we could know if it was a true haunting or just some strangers messing with the team. Can a person passing away stop the clocks? This video posted by LMonkA7X to the Ghosts subreddit calls that into question. Monk explains in the comments that his partner was working the night shift at the hospital when a patient passed at 3.11 a.m. Porters arrived to transport the body around 45 minutes later. Not long after, a nurse was logging the passing in the computer when she observed a clock's hand spinning rapidly. The passing was logged into the computer at 4.10 a.m. and a minute later the clock stopped spinning at 4.11 a.m exactly an hour after the man's passing. While Monk admits to ordinarily being a skeptic, his partner's reaction to what happened, as well as everyone else's in the ward, convinced him that this was no practical joke, this was real. All who paid witness to the odd timing were shaken up over it. Being that the clock is analog and not digital, Monk suggests it's strange that the clock stopped on the exact right time of day after going berserk. He also believes that the whole thing was paranormal, being that the clock's actions coincided with the passing of the patient and the processes surrounding it. What do you think? Coincidence or not? The people of Reddit are on both sides of the fence. Either way, the timing couldn't have been creepier. This grainy video, taken in a dark room just outside of the kitchen, shows a children's toy suddenly glide forward on its own without warning. The quality of the video is not very good, but then again it was taken in 2010 and seems about right for camera phones of that time. As for why the camera was set up in that spot to begin with, I'm not sure. Maybe they have been experiencing paranormal activity in this area of the house and wanted to record it for proof. Either way, there's still enough light spilling in from the kitchen to show a string on the ground if there was one. I can't see one, and therefore I think there's a strong possibility that this video could be absolutely real. Mr. Biggs is a giant iguana who is not behaving normally. He hardly recognizes his owner upon entering his room. And yes, Mr. Biggs does happen to have his own room. Um. See, there he is. He tried to bite me. The large lizard fits a single finger squarely in his mouth and clamps down, but a closer look reveals it's actually just an empty glove at the end of a ruler. As it turns out, Mr. Biggs was just hungry and not trying to take over. He might have even mistaken the glove for a big hunk of lettuce. Look at him here at 3 minutes and 7 seconds. You would never have expected this could be the same Mr. Biggs as before. Yeah, he doesn't even care. Can wrangle him up. This building is teeming with poltergeists, and YouTuber Han Kardashler is about to face off with them. They throw the first punch as soon as he enters. And they don't let up. They continue as he moves around the building. But he doesn't leave until they become more aggressive. What do you think? Would you stick around in here? I think there aren't many worse places to be. This eerie video has me doing a double take, published by Spot You Like in April of 2008. This scary clip is filmed outside the stunning York Minister. The bells are ringing and the cameraman is taking it all in.
He scans the cathedral and then starts walking toward it. A shot later, he is continuing on his way down a narrow shop lane. While the bells continue to sound, shops line either side of the street. But watch what happens in the upper window to the left. The cameraman zooms in on the ghostly pale face of a small child looking out the window. The child's eyes are dark and inky, and its face, mask-like. As the camera zooms, the child disappears. The uploader notes that the house is called The Bell Fry and was built in the 17th century. Some in the comments claim to have stayed there and say that it has seriously spooky vibes. Is this the thing putting out those vibes? I'd say it's a pretty good chance. A YouTuber named Braveburn is by himself checking out an old abandoned house rotting in the forest. Behind a creepy mold-covered door and down some old wooden steps, he finds a basement that looks far from safe. He pokes around downstairs for less than a minute before he finds a false sense of wall that leads to a lonesome hidden room. Soon he comes across a bunch of miscellaneous extension cords tangled together on a broken bench. Why anyone would need that much power to this tiny room is anyone's guess. It's almost like someone was being kept down here, possibly against their will. Braveburn shines a flashlight down a narrow square hole and chances upon a tuft of golden straw-like material. I'm really hoping that this is insulation and not human hair. He quickly leaves without checking, so I guess we'll never find out. While on duty at a hospital one night, a security guard noticed something alarming on CCTV footage at around 11 p.m. Let's take a look. The mysterious ball of fire is later seen returning from the other end of the hall. The security officer notes that senior officers said this phenomenon is unexplained, but not uncommon. Many attest to having seen a child spirit, as well as the apparition of a young woman, wandering the grounds of this place. Is this one of their souls? I'd like to believe it is, but we can't rule out your run-of-the-mill bug anomaly either. Weigh in with your opinion in the comments. A group of friends see a stranger leave the woods in a hurry. They think it's odd and make a video. And they caught someone coming out of the tunnel. Uh, pretty creepy, pretty scary. So. Oh, bro, what's that smell? Oh, it's rank. Can you smell that? Guys, it's literally flies all over the place. Oh, bro, could you smell that? That stinks, bro. Oh, nasty, man. In the tunnel, they find a white sheet covered in red with a very distinct human outline underneath. And this is their reaction. God. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, that God. stinks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was grim. Hey, we need to ring the police. As crazy as anything. Having this happen would be really scary. <sighs> we need to ring the police. What? We need to ring the police. Have you got a phone? No, I've not got a phone. Get Have you phone, got one? Hey, can I have police, please? <laughs> One minute you're hanging out with your friends, and the next moment you're all suspects. Yeah, I've just found a, just been exploring with me, and we've just found a body. A man is fishing in Australia when his raft briefly goes over a dense patch of seaweed. He carefully gets out and walks along the slippery surface in search of a good place to fish. No sooner does he cast his line out when this happens. The dark outline of a sizable stingray angrily flaps towards him with all of its might. I'm guessing the raft accidentally bumped into it, sending it charging into his direction. It moves right by him in his blind panic. There's no doubt that he was over top of it earlier. In fact, if he had chosen to step off the other side of the raft, his foot probably would have gone right on it. 
Alcatraz. A man is walking around the infamous Alcatraz when he picks up two possible paranormal encounters. I'll start with the weirdest one first. He is inspecting a roll of holding cells when a loud voice seems to call out to him with a single question. It sounds to me as if the deep voice is asking one simple word, why? The second possible encounter occurs as he is entering another part of the prison. Listen to this strange and haunting laugh. This one has a fairly reasonable explanation. Alcatraz is on an island, so maybe this was a bird call echoing off the prison's walls. I can't tell for sure, so let me know what you think about these two events. Damon and Sean are walking around outside when they come across a huge open sewer pipe in the middle of nowhere. They don't think much of it until something weird starts to happen. I think there's like somebody down there. What the Dude, it's creeping me out. Sean goes to the other side of the pipe to see if he can determine the source of the banging. Soon, he comes back and says that he couldn't see anything on the other end. Yeah, but usually this is like two at a time. See, like, did you hear that? If there is any technical reason for a sewer pipe to be banging in sets of two like that, then I'd like for someone to please explain. Otherwise, there's no way to tell who or what was making all that racket down there. Blurry Faces is a YouTuber exploring two mysterious schools standing next to each other. They were both built around World War II and have been abandoned for a long time. Everything starts out normal until Blurry Faces is exploring an upstairs room full of classroom furniture. After that, something seems to be stalking them at every turn. The strange banging noises only grow louder and more persistent as time wears on. I will give them credit for being courageous and sticking around for so long. This is the event that finally makes them lose their composure and scramble. This time Blurry Faces bravely tests the weight of the door himself and finds that it's way too heavy to swing open with such ease. You can tell he is putting a lot more effort into opening and closing the door than whatever just opened it moments earlier. Tell me what's written in Spanish across the door and if it has any significance to what could be possibly lurking inside. Do you take this ghost bride to be your lawfully wedded wife? I don't. Published by Thiago Ferracao in April of 2022, this ghost hunter encountered a phantom bride that was forcibly married to her husband in this haunted church. This is what happened. As they first enter the church, an unseen force slams the door shut and moves a wooden bench with great force, and then the fun begins. The bride is first seen as they are attempting to communicate with her using a spirit box. Watch the door carefully in the background. A pale figure passes slowly. The pair don't notice it. Qual era o seu nome? Later, as they're told to leave, they see the figure face to face. Once they're standing outside the church, the figure is seen standing at the altar. As Thiago walks toward the church doors, they're slammed shut in his face. After watching this scary video, would you say I do? Let me know in the comments. An unnamed European castle is the subject of investigation on a ghost hunting YouTube channel called Paranormal Mystery. They are hastily setting up a CCTV system for the evening's investigation when they realize the battery is being drained from all of them really fast. But right before the cameras power down, they manage to capture this ghost on CCTV. A ghost walks by and dissipates before it reaches the last step. I don't know if this is computer editing, but the way it slowly shrinks and then goes away is more complex than a simple fade out shot. 
This video was taken in 2008, so the video quality is actually quite good and still holds up to this day. Their surprised reactions make me think this could be real. Vintage footage recovered from Michigan shows creepy things in the woods, scary stuff that you and I were never meant to see. Things get weird when the family dog begins guarding them and tracking smells. Something out here has had the animal on high alert for the whole time. Whatever it is has apparently gotten close to camp the night before. On their final day, they decide to let the dog roam as far as it wants. It tracks a scent deep into the forest where they've caught a scary unknown creature sighting on camera that I'm not sure they survived. The animal looks like a bear, but runs like something completely different. We only get a glimpse of it before the cameraman runs, but in those scary moments, some say that this is a sighting of the Michigan Dog Man, a legendary humanoid creature lurking in the woods. Dog man or not, it has a pretty good head start on them. This does not look like a warning charge, therefore I would not be surprised if this creepy vintage video was found in the woods many years later. A Saudi Arabian ghost hunter known only as Hai claims to have caught a real jinn on camera while exploring an abandoned house that he knows is haunted. I can't tell if this is a gap in the curtains or a ghost in the window. He presses onwards and reaches the second floor before things get beyond creepy. Yeah. Something paranormal is making movements. Bismillah. and staying one step ahead of the paranormal explorer at all times. The excited ghost hunter runs from room to room trying to keep up, praying for strength all the while. As the ghost apparently runs into a tall cabinet, I can't help but wonder if it's just as afraid as he is. <laughs> Cornered and with nowhere to go, the spirit finally has to rely on its supernatural defenses to get out of there quickly. <laughs> Scary noises are heard all around, doors shutting, cabinets opening, and soon a strange and bizarre paranormal mist floods the room. It's hard to say if this was real paranormal activity or dust kicked up from him throwing objects everywhere, but I think it's probably real and most certainly is creepy. According to this paranormal investigator, a genie cursed him in his own voice. Let's enter this haunted home. While speaking to the spirits of the place, he hears an EVP. Buradaki varlık kendini belli etsin. Bir işaret versin. Buradaki yaşayan insanları kaçıran varlık kendini belli etsin. When he walks into the kitchen, something disturbing happens. And then the spirit gets aggressive, but nothing is inside the room. When he enters the bedroom, he sees it.
But as he gets closer and closer... Is this a magic trick? Well, it could be the genie himself performing a practical joke. I could also see how this could be faked. But then again, the knocking... Only a genie could disappear like this. This short clip from a paranormal investigation leaves me wanting more. As the device is going off, Danny from Nighthawks Paranormal asks the spirit politely to back off. Can you step away, please? Thank you. And it listens. Then the spirit politely asks him to back off. If you want me to leave... Okay, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. This intriguing exchange has me convinced that ghosts really are trying to communicate with us, and it has me convinced to watch the full investigation. Um, okay, so I'm in an abandoned house, and there are, like, Blair Witch things hanging up here, and I'm going up here 100%. Okay. A YouTuber named Commander Holly came across this strange cottage while hiking with her aunt in Ireland. The first floor is mostly just crumbling stone architecture, but Commander Holly looks up and sees strange ornaments hanging in the attic. At the top of a worn ladder, she finds an entire room full of things used for strange rituals and various incantations. So here's the circle we found. I wish this was a joke, but it's not. There's like a an amazing like triangle above it and another one in the center of the room is a hanging decoration with faded pictures of various saints and in the corner is a book of pure black magic commander holly eagerly flips through its pages and decides to take it home to study but i'm not so sure if that's a good idea let me know if you would have done the same or if you would leave it be after all who knows what secrets are inside or who may come looking for it. Garbage has eyes. Posted to the Paranormal Evidence subreddit, C. Holly Molly writes, First noticed the eyes about two years ago, the ones next to the hose reel. She says this is a black plastic bag with sand in it, with no tape or reflective stickers attached. The security footage shows the garbage bag and its eyes. At some points throughout the clip, it even looks as though the eyes are blinking. The Redditor says the eyes appeared nearly a week after the bag was placed there. Some Redditors in the comments say it's pareidolia, while others think it's a residual artifact from the camera. Are we seeing a face that is not there? Or is this a real-life Oscar the Grouch? A YouTuber named CTV911 is on his way to see the new Star Wars movie. When the crowded mall elevator abruptly stops, leaving him stuck with other worried passengers, I can't exactly tell for sure, but I think one of them might be trying to force the doors open here, maybe to get more air into the elevator. Watch this part and let me know what you think they are trying to tell him not to do. Ed, please. Hey, stop, hey, anybody up there? Oh, it's getting unbearably hot in here. Can try the phone again to let them know someone's going down? I could only imagine what would have happened if he had managed to actually get the doors open. After about nine minutes, one of the passengers breaks down and has a full-blown panic attack. You don't have a medicine? Oh, no. Okay. 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 It isn't until 40 minutes later that help finally arrives. Firefighters can't get the doors open, so they have to bust in through the top of the elevator. Their welcome entrance nonetheless sends shrapnel down on the waiting crowd. Watch your eyes, guys. There's screws everywhere, too. I'm still going up. Hey, can I have it? Yeah, yeah, you can have it. We don't hey, want hey. it. Hey, 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 we're trying to help. They somehow squeeze a ladder into the elevator and send everyone up one by one. The YouTuber misses his movie but is glad he no longer has to spend another moment stuck in that cramped space. Horrifying surveillance camera footage shows someone getting chased by a much bigger, much scarier person who slings them over their shoulder and drops them into a getaway vehicle. 
Police are calling this a suspicious incident because it looks more like it could be their last moments on Earth. They are in total fear for their life, so I don't think this is a family dispute. It's something way scarier than that. Amit Daksh has caught some scary activity at the Bobina station in India that he thinks could be paranormal. He's filming a train pass by when a shadow figure passes in front of him at 20 seconds. He thinks this could be a real ghost sighting he's caught on tape, but I'm wondering if it's his own shadow under the train's bright lights. Something's weird about the angle though, so maybe it's a real person or a shadow figure like he claims. Freaky, right? Want to see a magic trick right before your very own eyes? TikToker Vincent L.A. Jorde has one for you. Watch for the guy in the red shirt. Everyone's wondering where he came from. He seems to materialize out of thin air as the ladies walk forward. Watch again closely. My theory is that he's Doctor Strange, or he teleported there. Is there any more logical explanation? While exploring the Royal Arcade in Keithley in the UK, the YouTube team Staffordshire Paranormal Explorers encounters an abundance of paranormal activity as they communicate with the spirits they hear what sounds like a door moving. We heard a dragging noise in here before, or possible footstep shuffling. What was that? They hear unexplained taps and knocks. Got two knocks? Yeah. yeah. It's like dirt and dirt. As they continue throughout the place, a disembodied whistle or whisper is heard. Okay, spirits. We know, we know you're here with us now. And not long after, two thuds are heard. Did you hear that? Yeah. Later, a distinct whistle sounds. Heard a whistle, man. In my opinion, this place is creepy enough without all the whispers and whistles, but the paranormal activity really puts it over the edge. For the love of all that is holy, look out behind you. Posted to TikTok by Haunting Facts, this TikToker is dancing in a parking garage and doesn't seem to realize that something is watching. And not only watching, it's coming closer. Watch closely as the TikToker performs her choreography. After moving to the right, a figure is seen creeping up behind her. He is so close that he could reach out and touch her. The figure looks like a man with his back facing the girl. Unaware, she jumps to the left, and the figure is again blocked from view. This man went unseen earlier in the clip. You don't see him approach, even though the girl starts dancing further back from the camera. Where did this guy come from? Did he just materialize out of thin air? And what does he want? Some TikTokers say he's obviously Batman, while others are having trouble seeing the figure at all. But Sydney's having no trouble. She writes, Bro, I saw it and it actually gave me a little heart attack. Sounds like Sydney might need a break from the scary videos. A lot of people meditate to relax, but using breathing techniques to master the elements of nature is where the topic takes a strange and mysterious twist bordering on the supernatural. The ability to manipulate one's surroundings in such a way is done using an energy called chi. This is one such practitioner, and water is his element of choice. Somehow he is able to make the liquid rise to the surface in a way that follows the energy guided by his hand. Soon he has created a bumpy surface full of individual droplets. He releases his hold and with a wave of his hand, the water returns to normal. So this video is really mysterious. There doesn't appear to be anything in the water to make it do this. At least nothing I can see. I feel like he could have put metal shavings or something in the water and then had someone with a magnet underneath create this effect. 
Can someone who knows more about science tell me if I'm on the right track? Otherwise, this is about as strange and mysterious as it gets. This kid is making a random video in a dark room for no real reason at all. When he makes the mistake of looking down for a brief second to cough, <laughs> A hunched over humanoid creature, who may or may not just be one of his friends, takes this opportunity to hit the ground of all fours and scramble after him. Even if this was one of his friends, maybe something bad happened to them to cause this transformation to take place, in which case, there is nothing fake about this video. After Snapchatting, a kid knocked down some stuff with a soccer ball. The boy's father confronts this teen over it. He deletes the Snapchat, but the father wants the police called. He tries to run, but the father grabs his waist and tells him he's not going anywhere. I'm not filming your kid. You're not even anywhere. He's holding me up against yes, the bikes. Hey, yes, sir. sir in the red hat. Yes, sir. Hey, can you come back, please? Yes, sir. Call him. Call him. Call him. Nobody's touching you. You hold hey, me up against the bikes. You're going to cuss me out and film my... The guy recording is obviously frightened at this point and tries to leave multiple times, but is always grabbed and stopped by the father. An officer eventually arrives and after hearing what happened, he says what the teen did isn't against the law and tells him to take off. So I am going to ask you to leave and if something's on there, I ask you, I'm not telling you, please delete it. Yes, I know it's gone, I promise you it's right, gone. Get out of here, All leave right. the store, whatever y'all right. got Thank to you. I think it's understandable that this father didn't want his son being recorded, but he handled the situation in a way that made this encounter way worse for everyone involved. A YouTuber named Darwin Quesada gets no further than a single step into an abandoned house when he hears footsteps from inside, high heels to be exact. <laughs> He and his friends are determined to find the source of the commotion, so they climb the steps to the top floor. The footsteps resume and a swirling cluster of white orbs appears when these sounds, much worse than footsteps, catch them by surprise. Good. They run down the steps at the sound of a door slamming somewhere unseen, but eventually convince each other to go back upstairs. They search every room and can't find where the footsteps are coming from, but then the footsteps grow louder, and four minutes is the exact moment the footsteps enter the room. They are in from behind and walk right past where they are standing. <laughs> The group is besides themselves and giddy with fear at this point, because it sounds like they are now walking around inside of these cabinets, which is obviously impossible, and yet happening before their eyes. Darwin's initial relief that nothing is behind the door is swept away by horror when this happens. <laughs> The third door swings open on its own, without a sound, and they all run away without getting a clear look inside. According to the title of this video, what they saw was a real phantom staring back at them. It's gruesome, the likes of which you or I cannot even begin to fathom. A man is happily gaming at a busy internet cafe when this scary moment happens. He is able to partially sit up again with some assistance, but something in his mind has apparently snapped. I guess this could either be exhaustion, or maybe even reacting to seeing too many flashing colors at once. I just thought it was scary because it happens out of nowhere. Have you ever heard something in nature that doesn't sound natural at all? This video is cross-posted by Cursed Curses to the Chills Narrator subreddit, who thought these sounds were weird enough to share. Originally posted to What Is This by Sir M Sport, the Redditor explains that the strange sound seems to be originating from the woods and the sky surrounding his house in rural Georgia. He said although his phone ran out of battery, he heard the sounds long after the recording ends. 
The user asks the Reddit community for help in identifying the source of these sounds. After asking a few of his neighbors, who said they hadn't heard such noises before, one of these neighbors who lives on a hill said the sounds definitely seem to be coming directly from the sky. Listen closely. The noises sound like your regular high-speed traffic for a moment. But then another tone enters Zan, like a spaceship door opening. The murmur continues, oscillating slightly. There are many theories in the comments, with Wolfish Fluff coming up with one of the most likely theories, suggesting that it sounds like a power plant or a generator farm. He notes the revving up sound could be the activation. He writes, My guess is that there is one of these facilities somewhere in your area, and the sound is coming from the sky because you're far enough away that basically the sound is bouncing off the atmosphere and then traveling to you. This would cause the muffling and the distortion. Other less likely theories include alligators, unknown flying objects, or a big tunnel. Any other suggestions? What do you think these sounds may be? After spending a day at the pool with some friends, a YouTuber named Austin Grash decides to explore his girlfriend's creepy basement for fun. They soon discover her basement area has many secret areas that have gone untouched for quite some time. No. And look to the right and there's a whole door over there. Listen. That's not concrete. That's hollow. A series of hidden passageways leads them deeper and deeper underground until they come across a final creepy red door. At this point, they can't shake the feeling that someone has definitely been down here before. Perhaps even very recently, just when they are talking about what could have possibly taken place down here, they see a bad sign. I want to know why there's chains right there. Where? Chains. I want to know why there's chains everywhere. If these chains weren't used to shackle somebody in place, then please tell me what they could have been for instead, because honestly, that's the only explanation I have. Eventually, one of them bravely kicks open the mysterious red door to reveal an empty room. There is a cellar door that none of them can pry open, so they give up and head back to the surface. Exactly what is in there is anyone's guess. For all we know, maybe somebody below ground was holding onto the other side. A YouTuber decides to take on the Candyman challenge at home all by himself. He leaves the lights on and recites the name of the cursed urban legend five times. This is supposed to summon the real Candyman, a tall figure with a hook for a hand that the movies were later based on. But it doesn't work so he decides to say the name five more times. A different Candyman challenge by a YouTuber named Kenny Bilski looks slightly more authentic. He waits until 3am to try and capture the Candyman on camera, and it all goes wrong upon reciting his name for the fifth and final time. Candyman. 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 Kenny is waiting to get jumped by the hook-handed maniac himself, but nothing happens, so he bravely decides to try again. Okay, Candyman. 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 Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. What the f***? What the f***? Okay, I'm getting the f*** out of here. I'm getting the f***. Two loud noises occur. One on the other side of the garage door, followed by a second bang right beside him, and then the garage door opens. I was waiting for Candyman to be standing on the other side, but Kenny nopes out of there before we get a chance to see it for ourselves. I don't see anyone's shoes on the other side, so I'm guessing no one is there and he opened it with a remote control. But when he swings the camera around at 4 minutes and 54 seconds in the mirror, you can see the head and shoulders of a shadow figure peeking from around the corner, a possible Candyman sighting from the shadows. This isn't a gentle good morning. Published to YouTube by C4CAT in March of 2018, 
This is what happens when an early bird of a ghost is angry that you're not up yet. The video shows a man asleep in bed as window curtains nearly blow, at times pushing the entire curtain to the side. The young man at first remains undisturbed by this. At one point when the curtain is brushed over, you can see something white appear behind the bars of the window. Then an obscure flash of white passes close to the camera. Shortly after, there's a slow disturbance in the man's blanket. Part of it lifts until the entire blanket billows up. It's then ripped off of him by an unseen force. Like a bucket of cold water, this is one alarm clock you wouldn't want to wake up to. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Ding Dong Dingle Dude. This redditor wrote, My friend and I saw this weird floating structure in the sky. Has anyone else seen something like this before? Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. What the Dude, that's just floating up there in this f***ing sky. What the f***? What the f***? It f***ing flashed. It, it, oh my, what? Dude, are you, are you recording? There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Mountain Aviator One wrote, That is the mysterious radio tower. It's obstructed by clouds. Well, the Triple B thinks it's a weather balloon. What do you think this object is? Let me know in the comments. This footage was apparently found inside the Penhurst Asylum, which is a real abandoned place located in Pennsylvania. The footage contains two students exploring the clearly abandoned building, and while nothing too bizarre happens in this footage, the backstory and timing are enough to make you scream. The two student explorers were never seen again after this. Well, that is terrifying enough. I want you to focus on the timestamp in the corner. Notice how they are ending up in new spots in the asylum at a faster and faster rate. Near the end of the video, the pair end up in the forest at a rate where the speed they are traveling is simply inhuman. What do you think is happening here? If this footage is real, then it is a case where the happenings would never be believed, if not for it being recorded. You can see a lot more from a bird's eye view, but that doesn't make things any clearer. YouTuber Stromedy captured something truly disturbing from his drone in the middle of the night. Watch and see if you can make sense of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the dude? Whoa, what that? hey, that's a runner, dude! That's a runner! Look, whoa! Now, now he just got up and started running! They're both running! They're both running! Okay, guys, guys, calm, calm, stay calm, stay calm. People are running amok, knocking others over. What is happening here? I can't make heads or tails from this. And at ground level, it gets even stranger. I'm landing it. Wait, go! Yo, 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 What is this guy after? I'd like to think this was some sort of game this group plays at night, but I have no idea what that game could be. Can anyone make sense of this? Ring doorbell camera caught this video of a scary clown lurking around the neighborhood, and it has everyone freaking out. A total stranger stands with their head bent at an extreme angle, examining the doorbell camera before a noise startles them, and they slowly back away like they were about to do something wrong. This was taken four days before Halloween, so it's probably somebody who is super excited and just wanted to creep people out early this year. Still, no friends are with them as they lurk around people's property uninvited, and no one in the neighborhood recognizes them, so who knows what they're up to. Also, notice how they didn't go back to the sidewalk. They go through the yard like they're either about to look in the next house or try a window. It might be four days before Halloween, but maybe they're using this as cover to case houses in the near future. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.